everyone welcome back to my channel hope you're well so i'm back again with another speed build um this build actually took me quite a long time <laughs> um i don't tend to spend more than maybe like two three maybe four hours at most um on builds and i don't spread them across multiple days um i feel like maybe i should because then they might turn out a bit better um but generally they don't take me that long um but this one I did like an hour or two and then I'd come back to it a day or two later but then I took like a week off because I had such a busy week um, with going back to work and just in general I just had loads of stuff that just cropped up um, so I took some time off it and then I finally came back to it yesterday and I finished it um, and it's basically just botanical gardens so I wanted to sort of create a nice um, sort of community lot where people could go and maybe go for dates or just kind of chill in the sun um, go for a drink or two um, and this is a bit like I kind of took inspiration from one that I used to go to when I was a child um, and I used to go all the time they used to have like summer events on and they have like a bandstand um, and it was so lovely and so nice to just spend a day there walking around um obviously this is a lot smaller <laughs> but this is basically just the sort of style of build that i wanted to sort of try um and try and emulate but and it's just sort of a bit of a garden really um but i just thought it'd be quite quite cool to try and do i've never tried anything like this before i've never done it previously so i just thought oh, why not give it a whirl you know um, so I wanted to try and get in as many kind of like tropical looking plants in there where, where it needs to be quite humid. Um, cause in these sort of like big fancy greenhouses at the botanical garden, this was very humid and you can just sort of feel the sort of life from all the plants and everything. Um, so I just thought that's the vibe I'm going for. The nice tiled flooring, the glass walls, lots and lots and lots of plants. Um, so I tried to get in some like sort of palm trees and stuff like that. I've got some water fountains in because the one I used to go to when I was a kid, they had the, these um, sort of like a big pond fountain thing in the middle, and they had little frogs in there and everything, and it was so great. I used to love it so much. Um, so I didn't do a pond inside, but I did a couple of fountains, and I did um, some ponds like either side. So it's quite symmetrical this build. It's very symmetrical. Um, I did ponds outside and the, the water which is um either side on top of the foundation that's actually a swimming pool not a pond because it wouldn't let you do like a fountain tool thing um but it looks fine and i just made the water look kind of pond like um and so i went and found different plants in debug like the hanging basket flowers and just sized them up um, just because I thought in a place like this you'd probably get quite a few like hanging f plants and flowers <laughs> um, I, it just it took quite a long time just filling the whole thing up with flowers because I don't really want any like empty spaces I wanted it to be pretty full up um, because they usually are pretty you know dense with flowers and plants and things um, so I mean I know nothing about gardening or plants so I don't know if the type of plants I'm selecting would sit well with the ones that it's surrounded by or if it would be part of the same family or if they'd be looked after the same I don't know so it's probably not going to be very correct but it looks okay so it's fine um one side I did do I did more like um cactuses and little succulents so that's like the succulent side they're very like tropical kind of dry plant area <laughs> which I'm doing now um, so that whole section is kind of like palmy trees and cactuses and stuff like that and then the other side I do more like bushes and flowers um, and the middle is just kind of like tropical trees and bushes um, I put in some like little benches because you can just sort of sit amongst the plants you know breathe it all in um and i also put in a little water water fountain i think it was the one from jungle adventure um is it jungle adventure i think it is um and i just thought that looked quite cool and i thought it matched the kind of aesthetic i was going for 
Um, so yeah, this is very symmetrical. It's very, um, I don't know. It's just, I just thought places like this, they are quite uniformed, but also a little bit wild because they've got all of these various different plants all over the place. Um, so it's a bit of both. So in structure, it's quite uniformed and spectacle, but in like placement of plants and flowers, it's not, it's all quite different. Um, but I put like a long sort of fountain thing at the back um, with some water features. I do a kind of like maze as well, which you'll see um, doing a bit of rockery. I was gonna leave these how they were, but then when I came back to doing it, um, again, I was like, I feel like this needs a bit of rockery. I feel like it would just look more kind of authentic and natural to have a bit of like rock surrounding it. Um, so I do both sides. Um, I don't know why I don't do the other one immediately after. I just kind of do that at the end, I think. Um, I think I was just bored of placing rocks. Um, but I love using all the like, the like moss and stuff on the pond because I just think it adds a bit more um, detail. I also wanted to try and hide the sort of foundation wall a little bit. I just kind of sized up a few plants really and just sort of put them against it just to try and kind of hide the greyness. Um, so yeah, so I'm just doing a maze. <laughs> I tried looking on, I, I tried sort of working it out myself and I was like, I have no idea how you build a maze or how you work out a maze. I have no clue. So I tried looking on Pinterest and that didn't really help me so I just kind of winged it really and as I was going I was just sort of like moving my thing being like could they get through here could they get through there is this a way I don't know um, but I think I think they can get to the center um I'm almost certain of it so if you do download this and you want to send them to the middle go ahead because they will get there eventually um, but yeah, so I've never, never done a maze, don't know how to really work one out, but I did one, so I'm quite proud of that. Um, I did some sort of like terrace area, so this is like a barbecue section where they can just kind of sit and have some food. Um, and then I do the other side, which is more like a bar and it's just kind of like a bar area with, um, like benches. Um, so they can just have like a summer drink and just sort of relax. Um, I wanted to make this bit quite flowery because, well, and planty, um, cause I just thought it would look quite nice and be, just sort of carry on the whole kind of like tropical theme from the inside and coming outwards. Um, and then when you go down the steps, it's a bit more kind of like uniformed and sort of a, a manicured garden kind of area. So I feel like there are a couple of different kind of themes going on in this build. So I've got the whole manicured, uniformed kind of style with how symmetrical things are and with those trees going along the fountain um, and things like that. But then there is also the element of kind of like wildness and the natural way that flowers and things and plants grow um, by having different styles and different um, kind of things either side so it's not the same flowers on each side um, so it's a bit of a contrast that way um, it's a bit wild and sort of jungly on the inside and then on the outside it is a lot more kind of uniformed and that is the kind of theme I wanted to try <laughs> um, I mean I didn't overly think it I just thought it would be quite cool um and it's just kind of how it organically happened to be honest because um yeah I just kind of I wanted it to look nicely sort of well thought out um and it's a nice place for sims to visit um and just sort of you know have a leisurely day um, I still didn't finish the inside. <laughs> I had to keep taking breaks from it because I was like, oh god, these plants are taking forever to fill up this space. And it's not even that big. Um, but yeah, so I just kept go sort of going back and forth and popping more in. Um, and same for the outside as well on the front, I just kind of kept c coming back to it. Um, 
so it is a bit of a chaotic build in that sense i don't finish one area off i keep going back and forth um as i usually do i'm not a very um structured builder um also i don't know why that section went so dark when i put those plants in um i really don't know because i didn't even size them down or anything i just put them in and it just went really really dark which is very strange um so yes yeah, so i'm building a little bun stand now and this is like the one that i used to see at the botanical gardens when i was a child um and i just think it's so pretty um i love these and there's just something so i don't know like romantic about them when i think of these kind of things i always think it's somewhere where people get proposed to or <laughs> So I get married. I just find it so romantic. I just think when there is a band on there, it's just so lovely. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to make sure I got one of those on, on here. Um, I just think it looks really cute um, and it just sort of fits really well. I also put in some of the kind of like shaped bushes, <laughs> like the llama and the elephant and the cat and dog, um, just because I thought that was quite cool. Um, and again, they had some of those, the old botanical gardens I used to go to. Um, I just thought this is kind of like the lawn. I probably could have put more um, sun loungers on, but that's the kind of like lounging lawn. And I just thought it looked quite cool to have the different kind of shaped um, bushes and stuff on there. Um, and then just sort of pretty it up with some more flowers and things. Um, and then just sort of surrounding it with trees as well. Um, so this build actually, it, like I said earlier, it did take me quite a while. Um, longer than usual, I'd say. But it is quite big and it is quite detailed, I suppose, with the, all the different plants and flowers and things I have to place. Um, but yeah, right, I mean, I quite like it. I'm quite pleased with it, to be honest. I wasn't really sure how it was going to turn out. Um, especially at the beginning because it is quite it's quite a basic shape of a build to be honest um, but I just thought it would be quite fun to try I suppose um, so yeah here I am again <laughs> putting the rocks down because um, I was too lazy to do it straight after the other one um, but I yeah I think that looks quite cool I'm glad I didn't just leave it with the sort of um, basic trim um, I just think it looks a lot better with sort of a bit of rockery. I mean, although it is still kind of rectangle, I could have maybe made made them a bit more of a sort of different shape, but we'll just glaze past that. Um, and obviously getting in some romantic garden flowers because it's me and I have to. It's like a condition of mine. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is just kind of me inspecting it adding any final touches i think i add some like lighting and stuff in yeah um just so it looks quite nice in the sort of dark i think i probably could have added a few more kind of like wall lights and stuff here and there but i just put a lot of kind of like floor spotlights um and i put a few saucer lights inside as well um just to make sure it's not really really dark inside um but I mean, I think it turned out quite nice. I've got a few lanterns there, um, a few like floor lights, and I'm just sort of seeing how it looks with all the different kind of like times of day. And I think it worked quite well. I'm quite pleased with this. Um, I hope you like it too. You'll have to let me know what you think. I mean, if you do want to download it, it is already on the gallery. Um, hope you enjoyed, let me know. And I'll speak to you again soon. Screenshots coming up.